wow, my hair is bloody state. It is officially 2020. Hi guys, this is the first video of the year. So, if you're all been here for a while, because I know some of you have and I appreciate you so much, um, you will remember that last year I done like a goals kind of thing and I told you what my goals were for the year. And if you're new here, hi, welcome to the channel. Please like this video and subscribe. Ring the notification bell because there's some sort of thing that if you don't ring it anymore, then you won't get to see the person's content pop up in your news feed and come on guys, you don't want to miss. We've got Iceland trips, we've got Disney trips potentially, we've got professional gigs with our solo album, like whoa this is the year. Last year's goals, I made like a vision board. I'm gonna probably do that again in another video though because I've not got time right now to make one. And I accomplished everything, now you can go watch it. I accomplished everything on that vision board in the space of six months. Even the specific detail of passing my drive-in and getting a Fiat 500. I am currently paying for my own bloody car. Is expensive, but your gal's doing it. Like, I've got my job, Vip and Pot World, Missoula, blooming love it, and it's such a great team. Um, Holly has an embarrassing video of me from New Year, so if I get a hold of that, I'll let you see it, because apparently it's funny. So let's get straight into this year's goals. So I've written them down in my wee Shower Symphonies journal. This is where I do all my songwriting um however i've left the 2020 goals so as you can see i split my goals into four quadrants and then all the different ones so basically i just wanted to split it up into different months so i split it off january to april and then april to august and then august to december and then i've got an end one for like just little smaller things so the first thing is a money thing so by April, I want to pay off my uni course. So I'm currently only £600 away from doing that. So I'm feeling pretty positive. Then by August, I want to have saved £1,500. And then by December, I want to have saved £3,000. Because next year, I'm hoping to go with Kirsty to the Camp Philippines. Which is like a grand or so. Then, just as a wee extra, I want to try and like live on like £45 a week, £50 a week. And that's actually quite high. But I'm trying to like lower it because usually I just like spend, I'm like, oh my god, fit. Oh my god, bangs. Oh my god, clothes. Nah, we're not doing that. We're just necessities, you know. My second thing, I want to hit 3,000 followers on Instagram. So guys, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description below. I post loads on my Instagram, like maybe a bit too much, maybe I'm gonna calm it down. I've calmed it down recently. I've been posting like one a week, whereas before I was posting like one every day. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have more exciting content on it because I'm doing more exciting things this year. And I think I might start putting like little teasers on my Instagram, so if you wanna see those, go follow the Instagram. Abby underscore on underscore cloud underscore nine. Not the number nine, the word nine, because it looked nicer when I made it, okay? Then by August, I wanna hit 4,500. That's reasonable. And then by December, it's a really high um, goal, but you know, shoot for the moon, because even if you fail, you'll land among the stars. That was cringy as hell. But I want to try and get 7,000 followers. And then I want to post at least once or twice a week. That's like my week extra bit. Then by April, I want to hit 900 subs on here, guys. So, And then by August, I want to hit 1,500. And by December, I want to hit 2,000. Um, my goal is to start making one video a week already failed at that but we have all the Iceland videos coming we got this boo then by April I want to have my album ready it will be and then by August I want to release my first single 
so on Spotify. So I'll keep you all updated on here and Instagram. Then I want to have my full album by December. Um, I just I, the last bit is I just want to keep writing and just letting it all out there. Then by April I want to read four books. Um, currently I'm on my second book already, so we're doing good. Um, by August I want to read eight books. December twelve books, and then whatever inspires you read is what I've written the last bit. By April I want to start yoga. I was supposed to start this week, but deadlines at uni have got me dying, so no. Then by August I want to do a daily meditation, and then by December I want to be fluent in Spanish. And the last one says stay confident, aim high. Basically, I can pretty much speak Spanish. Like I can hold a conversation in Spanish. But my confidence is so low in Spanish because I'm worried that I'm saying it wrong when I know I'm not. Um, but it's okay, that's the goal. And then at the bottom I've just added little extras. Prioritise mental health because no matter what, that is the most important thing. Like your physical and your mental health is the most important thing. Like don't jeopardise it for anything. Like I've had to ask for an extension. Um, on two of my assessments which were due today because I was film meltdown mode like I was up till 4am like struggling with it like sometimes you just gotta ask then I've got eat well but don't beat yourself up so I'm hoping to eat well and if I don't like if I choose to eat something that's maybe not the healthiest I'm not gonna get upset over it because I'm doing really good at the gym right now like I'm working hard like it's all about balance. Then get that degree and let's get started on that master's. So, I think I've decided what I want to do for my master's. I want to do um, music for moving image. So, there is a course that I am setting my sights on, which is at the Glasgow School of Art, which is music for moving image. My friend David goes there the now and that's what he's doing and he's been telling me all about it, I've been reading into it and I'd really love to do it. And then the last one is just love your goddamn self, you mofo queen. Because sometimes people try and bring you down and do you know what? That's fine honey, like do it, like try. But you just gotta be strong and not let it get to you because in life not everyone is gonna like you and yeah it's hurtful but not everyone likes them so as long as you're nice to people as long as you're not nasty as long as you're not talking behind people's backs like as long as you're always like keeping it real then you'll be fine I'll be fine I keep saying you as in like you guys but I mean I just mean this is my mantra to myself that is basically my goals wrapped up in a bubble. I'm so glad to be sharing them with you. I can't wait to make more videos. Like, I go to bloom in Iceland next week. Like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I'm so excited. We're doing a lot there. I don't want to say too much because you're going to see it in the videos. Um, I'm going with Caitlin. She's like one of my best friends. So, Kirsty and Caitlin. They're my best friends, like they're so amazing. Both of them for loads of different reasons, like they're so opposite, like the two of them. They're such different people, but I love them both for like themselves. I also have my first professional gig um, where I will be performing some of my own stuff while Abby's actually gonna let people hear her music. Crazy, you know, New Year's say me. <laughs> and it's at the Barra Art and Design next month. However, um, I've got to wait for more info on that. So, just letting you know first. Yeah, I'd love to see people there. Angus, please come to my gig if you're free. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Owen for editing this video, man. You're goddamn amazing. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and comment a couple of your New Year's resolutions. Thanks for watching. Bye.